three, two. All right. Hello, everybody. This is the bus driver, and I am here to take you to school. We are starting up a new NHL 17 franchise mode. I did a poll on Twitter, so if you were following me, you were aware of that. And let's see. I gave you four teams out of the uh, the Western Conference there. Um, St. Louis, Chicago, Dallas, and L.A. The winner is da -da 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 -da, <laughs> Chicago, um, followed by L.A. in second. So we are going to do a Chicago franchise mode here from scratch. Uh, I do have the latest rosters. I think they're March 13th or something like that. Uh, let's go with this. Uh, the bus driver. As always, perfect. Continue. Here we go, boys. New team, new you. So, we're heading to Chicago. Our time in Boston was, was decent. I mean, we made it to the cup finals. We lost by one game. So, you know, we, we, had, we had it there. But you know what? We're going to a team now that's won it twice in the last, I guess, seven years. Once in 2010 and once in 2012. Is that right? Or 12 and 14? Something like that? Does that sound right? Oh, let me look this up here real quick. Uh, let's just see here. They have won it. Uh, 2015, 2013, and 2010. So not too far off there. And then uh, before then as well. Um, anyways, so here's what we're looking at. Kane, Taze, and Duncan Keith are their main, uh, their main hombres. Out there we're essentially just building around that team um, Kane and Taze are like what 10 million cap hit each so uh, they're a big uh, a big part of that team all right let's see assistant edit lines we will do GM mode why not uh, or uh, not GM mode sorry owner mode we'll we'll do budgets and revenue and all that stuff might as well all right, I think there's a couple settings I'd like to change over here. Uh, meetings I would like on, yes. That should be it. All right, let's start our career. Here we go. Hopefully 10 full years in Chicago. I'm hoping to not get the boot. We'll keep the salary cap on here. And uh, it'll be interesting. To see what we can do here. Now, from what I remember, I'm not a huge Chicago fan. As you know, I'm a, I'm a Flames fan. What I know of the team after after Taze, Kane, and Dowdy, they got Seabrook. Actually, funny story is, uh, not Dowdy, sorry. Um, uh, wow, why am I blanking right now? Did I say Dowdy before? It's not Dowdy I'm thinking of. Because Dowdy's in LA. Who the... I'm just blanking right now on... Duncan Keith, oh geez, there we go. Okay, Duncan Keith, funny story. Duncan Keith, um, he grew up in small town Penticton, BC, and uh, my aunt and uncle knew him. So that was kind of, was that two degrees of separation? Whatever it is. So uh, here we go. Let's take a look at this team first. Corey Crawford in net, 90 overall. He's what, 31? There you go. And then we got Scott Darling backing him up. Um, so, you know, maybe we're looking for a backup goalie here. And in the system, you have Johansson, Lars Johansson, who's 29, so he's not really going to grow. Jeff Glass, who's 30, he's not going to grow. And then Mac Carruth, who's 24, and he's probably not going to grow either. He's a seventh rounder pick. So, you know, that goalie is probably one of our weaker spots right now, especially going forward. Uh, on the roster here, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven guys here. Uh, let's send Kempney down. Um, Trevor Van Riemsdyk's over here. Johnny Aduya. Brian Campbell, Nicholas Darmelson, Brett Seabrook, and Duncan Keith. Uh, we're going to bring up Vili Polka to be some depth for us. We're going to leave Michael Roosevelt down. Um, other than that, let's see what we have for depth here. Roosevelt's pretty old. Campney's not going to grow anymore. Eric Gustafson might be something. He's got two more years of growth. David Runblad. Uh, we're just looking for anyone with some potential here. A couple seventh demon. Other than, no, no one really. So we don't have much depth defensively either. Uh, this is definitely a win-now team, uh, in case you haven't noticed. 
Uh, ooh, let's see here. Patty Kane, of course, is the franchise guy at 94. Hosa is an 88. And he crushes it still, of course. Um, he's a big point producer still. Uh, how are these contracts, though? Uh, five years left, seven years left, okay. Thomas Yurko's got a year left at a minor league deal. Uh, Richard Panic doesn't have much growth left to him, but he's got one year left. Jordan Tutu's got two more years, and uh, Ryan Hartman's got two more years. Ripe old age of uh, 22. So, uh, here... Well, we can't bring up uh, Vinny Hinostraza. He's not going to do much. Um, actually, funny thing is, I think I've had Hinostraza become the 90s once uh, in one of my other playthroughs. So, he might be something. Here, really, I guess we can use Panic and Yurko's Depth. That could be okay. Uh, left wingers, there's Panarin, the uh, bread man. Like the bread. Uh, we've got Lada, Moti. Okay, here, let's take a closer look. Lada, 25, Motti, just looking for some growth here. On not, okay, so these two are essentially too old to play, so we're gonna bring Lada up, I think. And him play, and then centers. Oh yeah, here we go. We can send Schmaltz and Caro down for now. And uh, let's see here. Paves, of course. Artem and Nisimov. So not the best. Uh, Second line center, but he'll make do. Kruger, Desjardins, and Rasmussen. So let's bring up uh, Hayden here as well. Guys who want to be up will bring up, and Lada will bring up. So there's our whole team right now. Let's take a quick look. This is all going to be set up, guys. We'll probably just get through the preseason. That's about it. Um, nothing special. So here's the suggested lines. Panarin, Taze, and Kane. Now, Panarin's more of a second liner. Do I want to play him up here on the first line? Or do I want to play him down with Anisimov and maybe Tur Yurko? Thomas Yurko. Or we leave it like this. So I'm going to, you know, let me know in the chat and in the comments there what you think about the lines as we go along. I'm going to take out Desjardins. Let's put in uh, Hayden down here. Take out, uh, take out Tutu, put in Rasmussen. Yeah, let's see, you know, how do we want to do these? Right, right, left. So let's do it that way. A left, east, left, right. Let's go like that. Left, left, left. Let's get Yurko, who's a, a nice shot there on the left. Patty Kane's a lefty, and Panarin is a righty. Do I want him like that? Let's do it like this, for now. Hmm, gotta think about that. Nah, I think we'll leave him like that for now. That's fine. Uh, defensively, Duncan Keith and uh, Brent Seabrook. There's your big one, too. Darmelson, and let's put... Uh, we'll, oh, no, we'll use Vili Polka as our depth. That's fine. He's a high top six, is Van Reems like, but he's not gonna grow much. Hmm. Actually, that reminds me. Should Yurko be up here? I guess our only other option is Panic or uh, Lada or Kruger. Hmm. That might be a little bit of a jump for Yurko there, but if he does well, he could he could score quite a few. So let's let's leave him there for now. Now, do I want uh, Trevor Van Riemsdyk in there, or do I want Vili Poka? I think Poka is the one who's got the better chance to grow. Yeah, medium top four. He's a righty as well. So maybe... How many years does Campbell have left? One year. So maybe Brian Campbell's trade bait. And maybe Johnny Oduya's trade bait. Get uh, Polka and uh, Trevor Van Riemsdyk in there. On the right side. Because they're both righties. Yeah, I kind of like that idea. Who's better? Brian Campbell or Johnny Oduya? Good question. We'll have to evaluate that. Um... So I like this first line. You know what? Let's get Panarin down here. Let's get Hosa up there. First line minutes. And you know what? We're going to do it this way. Hosa, Taves, Kane. Uh, Duncan, Keith, Brian Campbell's fine. Darmelson and Brent Seabrook is fine as well. You know what? We're going to get... 
Dolphins. Dolphins are 88. Yours is 84. Yours is 93. Let's get Vili Polka in down here. I think he's got a decent offensive stat. 82. But I'd rather him playing offense than defense. His defense awareness is only an 83. So let's do it this way. Polka with Duncan Keith. Campbell with Seabrook. Yurko, Anisimov, and Panarin is fine there. Taves and Patty Kane, yes. Anisimov and Panarin. Uh, t -t 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 -t. Let's get Marion Hosa in here. Who's essentially ageless, an ageless wonder, just like uh, um, Yager, it seems. Hosa and Panarin, that should be fine. We only got 65 face-offs, that might hurt us. Uh, I guess it's the same. Uh, let's do the same thing here. So this time, let's take Jarl Merlson out. Ugh, that was hard to say. Jarl Merlson, really Polka. Then we get to the PK here. Seabrook and Jarl Merlson is fine. Oduya and uh, Duncan Keith should be fine as well. Yes. Both lefties, but it should be fine. Yeah, okay. Uh, we'll get Taves up there on the first line. Anisimov on the second. Who else is very good defensively? Let's see. Uh, Duncan Keith, Patty Kane is pretty decent. Taves, Hosa. And... Lada, we could probably get Lada in there. Here, let's do that. Let's get Lada in here. I think he's a center, is he not? He's not left. Oh yeah, he is. There we go. Lada in there. And then let's get Marion Hosa in here. That two-way forward should help us out. Especially next to Nisimov. And then our three-man, we're looking at Seabrook. And Jarlmerson. Duncan Keith, yeah, uh, let's do it this way. There we go, perfect. Uh, Taves can stay up there, and then let's get... Uh, let's get uh, Hosa in there. Perfect. Extras, let's look here. Taves and Kane, yes, and Isimov Panarin's fine. Then Hosa and Yurko, let's get Yurko in there. Thomas Yurko. He doesn't need too much time since he's only a depth guy. Um, right now. Let's see. Yeah, sure. We'll leave Oduya there. And then Campbell and uh, Vili Polka. Three on threes. Taves, Anisimov. And let's get... Let's get Hosa here. Let's take out Johnny Oduya. We'll put in Patty Kane. There's Patty Kane. There we go. And then let's take out Campbell. And you know what? It's Panic. What do we feel like about Panic? He's 25 low. He's, yeah, he's probably not going to grow. Yurko's got a better chance of growth. So let's, let's get him in there. Let's get Patty Kane up there. Yurko with Keith. Actually, let's do it this way. Get him on the corner. Yurko with uh, Seabrook. Darlmerson with uh, Vili Polka. Perfect. Uh, t -t 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 I'd rather do this way. Anisimov with the stronger defensive guys. Alright, extra attacker. Taves and Kane, yes. And then our shootout. Let's just get... Who's one of our better forward uh, shooters? Kane, Taves, Hosa, Panarin. Let's get Panic in there. Oh, he's only in the 80s. How's uh, Yurko's? Let's see here. Yeah, he's better, so let's, let's keep Yurko in there. That's fine. Goalies, uh, Crawford and Darling, of course. We'll need to consider a backup. Maybe make a trade for them. All right, in the AHL, let's quickly take a look at this. Uh, let's just see who's scratched for now. Nope. Uh, D'Souza is a AHL top six. 
High molars in AHL top six. Okay, do we have room for them somewhere? Let's see. We could take out Mashinter, Dowell, some of these guys could maybe come out. Let's get rid of Labrie here. No, not Labrie. Let's get rid of uh, Dowell. Let's put in uh, Zeus is 25, Highmore is 20, correct? Ooh, but he's only at 59. Never mind. We're going to leave him out. That's fine. Oh, no. Wrong button. Defensively. Kepney and Roosevelt's fine. Gustafsson and Svedberg, Runblad and Lalonde. Who else do we have here? Vernier, 67, HL top two. Seventh, HL top two. Seventh and seventh. Okay. So I definitely want to get Forsling in there. Maybe Noro and Dahlberg here. Let's see. Okay, we'll take a Lalonde. We're going to put in Forsling here. No offensive defenseman as well. That helps. Yeah. Huh. Let's get the offensive defenseman over there. He can play along Svedberg, the defensive defenseman. That should work out. Perfect. And then goalies. Johansson and Glass. They are our only options, so maybe we'll sign a a guy here. Play down there. Let's get uh Where is he? Let's get you know Straza in there. And then no defensemen. We don't want defensemen out there as our extra men. And then let's get uh, Schmaltz. Nick Schmaltz. Perfect. Top nine, top nine. Hopefully we can see some growth out of these guys. Uh, let's take a look at our captains. The NHL should be set. AHL should be... Let's see. Johnson and Lalonde are leaders. Okay. We're going to give it to... The guys we want to grow. So, Mahdi, Roosevelt, and Lalonde. Let's remove this. Roosevelt can be a captain here, since he's old. Older, sorry. Not just because he's old. But he's probably going to be the leading uh, guy down there. We want to give this to, you know, Straza. And then let's give it to Nick Schmaltz. Perfect. There we go. Then I want to check the NHL, make sure everything makes sense there. RFD. What? Oh, Rockford. Sorry, never mind. Okay, Taves is our captain with Seabrook and Keith. Perfect. That's exactly how I'd want it. Um, so that's settled. All right, let's take a quick look now at who's available in free agency. Probably going to make a couple easy signs right off the bat. Let's do this as well. Get our scouting assignments going. Three weeks in the W. And then we'll also take a look at the trade block. See who's available right off the bat. Uh, <sighs> Growth-wise, we may want to pick up Suomela. Other than that, there's not much growth potential let's see goalies here got a high backup good pick up Prachiva Neva I usually pick him up so you know he sometimes grows he's only 68 overall though so I think we're better off in the AHL just playing our best goalies and maybe drafting someone now for a backup goalie there's Ray Emery who's only a one point upgrade so maybe not worth picking him up. And then for all skaters, who's available? Uh, with Nooski, we don't really need an 85 defenseman. That's not what really... Unless he's a righty. Ooh, he is. It's a two-way. Other than that, we might want to pick up Semin to play that second line so Yuriko can move down. How much cap space do we have? We have one mil, so no, not really. Okay. Let's edit our trade block. So Brian Campbell and Johnny Odulia can be available. Because we're looking for a right-handed defenseman. 
Or not even. We already have right hand defensemen. We're looking to. Plus, they have expiring contracts. Let's put Oduya up there. Let's put up. Uh... Put up Campbell. And then finally. Uh. Who else do we have available? Anisimov, Hosa, Oduya. Could trade some of our young guns. Might have some uh, value. Other than that, Jordan Tutu might be worth dumping. He's not got a huge uh, cap hit. Or Desjardins. Who's got a real big cap hit that kind of throws us off? Need, 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 need. Kruger's got a 2 million at only 81 overall. Maybe he can go. I kind of like that idea. Since he's probably not going to grow much anyways. And then Runblad's the only other one that kind of has a high value there. Okay, let's put Kruger up. His his uh, salary doesn't look worth his, uh, worth his value right now. We always want firsts and seconds and thirds. Always. You never know when you got to start the rebuild. Well, and restocking is always the best way to win games. You don't get to be where you are without uh, breaking a few eggs. And let's take a look at the trade block here. At the beginning of the year, see if there's anyone available. Uh, Pavel Datsuk's always available. He could be a good second line center. Or even on the, uh, the left side there and take Yurko's spot. Uh, the problem is a cap hit. We can't take on 7 mil. Uh, who else here? Not really a good backup. Francois Beauchemin. Hedrick Zetterberg, same thing with his cap hit. We can't afford that. Uh, Cronwall as well, same idea. Yammer Yager, cap hit again. It would be our problem. Ben Bishop's available. Of course, they've got two starting goalies over there, which is ridiculous. Darcy Kemper might be worth picking up at 83. And only 1.5 mil. Uh -huh. Anyone else? Kovacs might be worth... Uh, uh, maybe. As a gamble, pick up Kovacs. Matt Murray's always available. Although they should pick him over Marc-Andre Fleury. Uh, Sparks at 23, not really. The Sedin twins are available. And that looks like it's it. Okay, let's quickly check our unsigned players. See if there's anyone worth signing, if we even can. I can't remember if you can or not. But at least we can see who's, who's unsigned and in the pot. Of course, Panarin's our best uh, potential here. Okay, uh, in the system. Frob's a top nine. Kulola is a top six. Okay, so they're probably worth holding on to. Uh, seventh D, maybe Carlson. Noel's a high uh, top six. AHL top six, sorry. Dahlstrom, maybe. Radke and Bondra, maybe. We're getting now into the not worth it category. Uh, goalies, do we have anyone unsigned? Nope. And main roster? Nope. Okay. All right, so no one really worth signing there. We've got plenty of depth everywhere for now. All right. Uh, let's quickly get some of this owner stuff out of the way. Let's do our... Uh, we'll set prices first. Always just recommended amounts gotta make that cash money dough cash me outside preferably all right let's do our budgets next and then we'll get through the preseason here let's do this let's bring this down to a 25 Uh, no, we'll bring it down to 20. Perfect. Save our budget. Our operations budget. 
Um, we're going to take it out of promotions. Uh, take a little out of that. Put a lot into arena. I always find uh, finding the arena very important at the beginning so we can upgrade everything first. And then it's cr cruising from there. Uh, and let's do facility upgrades now. What needs to be worked on? Well, we can. So these need to be upgraded. I, we can't do that yet. And the bathrooms, you know, let's repair the bathrooms. Start the year off right. And then uh, we should be okay. Good. Let's get through the preseason here and then we'll take a break. And continue on with the year one. Let's see him right to the, towards the end. All right. What are our goals this year? Win the cup. All right. Win our home opener. Sell 95% of season tickets. Jeez, that's a lot. And then upgrade club seats. Okay. High aspirations for this owner. Jeez. We've already allocated our budget. I'm okay with that. We'll auto assign promotion nights. Big wins here. I mean, it's the preseason. Um, and we've got our best stars out there in every game. So we should be winning a lot of these. My guess, we're probably going to lose to Nashville. Just just because I have that feeling. Okay, two seconds for... No, not really interested. And our home opener is up against St. Louis. So that'll be a hell of a game there with Vladdy Tarasenko. He can be dangerous. Our scouting assignment started again. Perfect. So here's where we're going to... Take our break. Aiden, you happy? You need a shake up. What are you talking about, man? Oh, demanded too much out of them all. That's cute. Roosevelt, having the C is a long time coming. Expect a lot out of you. Mate. There we go. So we need some chemistry going here. We've only got. Uh, what was it, 70 chemistry in the NHL? And how much in the AHL? 71, so not a pretty number there. I'm gonna check and make sure those trade blocks haven't changed now that the preseason's through and make sure my trade block didn't change. Nope, good. You never know with EA. They like to reset things behind your back. Nope, nope. Just quickly looking for anyone. You can pause it if you want to take a closer look. Uh, now, how long do we think Corey Crawford's going to be good? He's 90 overall right now at 31 years of age. We've probably got three more years out of him. Actually, I wonder what his contract's like. Anyways, all right, I'm going to take a quick break. You can let me know what you think about the new team in the comments and, uh, and in the chat. And we will keep this gravy train rolling. So thanks a lot for joining me. For those on YouTube, take a look in the description below for my information. YouTube.com slash bus driver, twitch.tv slash bus driver, and at bus driver on Twitter. All those spelled with an L3 US. That's how you spell the bus. Hit those like buttons, hit those follow buttons so you can see when I'm live. Join me in chat. I appreciate when you do. Quick break. And we will be back for some more. So stick around. I'll see you in just a bit. Take care.